Here are the top five stories you need to know about today. A power outage still impacting part of Glen County this morning. PG&E says a car crashing into a power pole is the cause of that outage. We're working to confirm reports from residents that say 1,100 initially were without power around 9 p.m. Wednesday. We checked the PG&E outage map. Now 71 customers are still without power, though power is scheduled to be restored by 9 a.m. And to follow up on the car into the power pole in Glen County, we spoke to the Glen County Sheriff's Office overnight. They did confirm a car ran into a power pole causing damage, but they wouldn't confirm the location of that crash. We'll follow up with Orland Police for further details about the person involved in the crash. Another day of the Greyhound bus shooting trial. The case is now in the jurors' hands. We've been following this case since the night of the shooting in February 2022. Coleman faces multiple charges of murder and attempted murder for the 2022 shooting. Day 8 of the trial resumes at 8.30 a.m. And reporter Camille Acevedo will be in court all day and bring you the latest on the case tonight on Action News Now. Happening today, a chance for you to be a part of the decisions being made within the state. The California Public Utilities Commission will be holding a commission voting meeting today. The public can watch the public meeting in person or through a web link. We made that available for you on our website. The meeting starts at 11 a.m., so to participate online, just head to actionnewsnow.com and click on news links. New this morning, Clifford Rhodes will be serving time in prison for t threatening a Tehama County community. Rhodes stole items from a gas station and rode off on his bike. Afterward, authorities say he went to another business and shattered the glass. Another incident was at an apartment complex where Rhodes became belligerent, and the manager there told Rhodes to leave because he didn't stay there. Rhodes was sentenced to two years and eight months in state prison.